Hey YouTube, good morning, it's Chuck. Well guess what, here I am in the, what are you gonna call it, the apiary lab out in my backyard. We're in the middle of a dearth, not the middle, we're at the beginning of a dearth because the nectar flow had just finished. Uh, and I showed you my last video, I just took the supers off uh, and I showed you the graph of the nectar flow, uh, kind of the weight of the hives tapering off. Let me, I'll show you that picture right here in case you didn't see it last time. This is measured with broodminder scales. And uh, anyway, so you can see that we're tapering off. And I've got some uh, feeders out front just to kind of monitor whether or not the bees are taking sugar water and they are taking sugar water right now. So I've been waiting to run an experiment <clears throat> Uh, on the dilution rates of sugar water and what the bees prefer. Uh, in some content out there on the internet, you know, we all feed one to one in the summer, but some folks are saying, uh, including Bob Benny, you know, one to one and a half, which means uh, more water than sugar, um, it's more stimulative to make wax. Um, and, you know, science also tells us that nectar. Uh, its sugar content is about one to four, and that's also what we feed hummingbirds, if you didn't know that. Um, so what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is I'm gonna run an experiment with some different ratios, and these are all thin syrup, not thick syrup. So the control is gonna be one to one, and then I've got a dilution table where I'm gonna add some water to each of these. And oh, by the way, it's not exactly straightforward math to add water to a already mixed ratio because you have to consider the sugar and the water already in here when you add more water to get the right ratios. And I've done it on a spreadsheet, so I don't need to do the public math. Um, so I'm gonna just gonna basically take my base control of one to one and then add additional water to get to these to the right ratio according to my spreadsheet. So we're gonna go one to two. So basically one to one and a half is gonna be somewhere in between here. I've got one to four, which is theoretically nectar's fructose sugar. And then I'm gonna go above that to one to six, which is a little bit more water than nectar. Um, and if, if there's a definite tendency to prefer one of these over the other, maybe I'll go expand in a future experiment with higher resolution. And maybe I'll test one, one and a half, two, two and a half, or something like that. Uh, but anyway, I've got some, um, boiling water here and I'm just making my one-to-one -one recipe so I've got the essentially the same weight and the same um, volume uh, I'm sorry the same mixture by weight of one-to-one -one syrup here so the same weight of water and the same weight of sugar uh, in boiling uh, water just to kind of get it it was not quite boiling getting it up to solution and once this gets in the solution I'm just going to go ahead and start mixing my ratios and basically um, I've got a, a table on here that says how much one-to-one -one weight goes into the, uh, a mixture and then how much additional water so that I get about uh, a pint, uh, you know, close to a pound um, worth of solution to feed. And then I've got a feeder set up over here that has essentially got four holes in it. So um, four feeders can be side by side. So theoretically arriving bees um, could choose whichever one they prefer. Now it'll be interesting to see if this works or not. And if it doesn't work, guess what? You're never gonna see this video because I'm just gonna not post it. So I'm just essentially putting the content together um, ahead of time as I'm making this. And I'm just using regular old granulated sugar. I get my sugar from Walmart. It's still the cheapest place I've found to get it uh, at the consumer level without buying a pallet of it. Uh, it's even cheaper than Costco that I found, uh, but the sugar prices are going up. So this is another reason to perhaps consider could we use thinner syrup uh, and achieve the same objectives. Now. While this water is continuing to go into solution with the sugar, let's talk a little bit about the reasons we use one to one versus um, one to, or two to one. Two to one meaning, meaning thick syrup in the winter. So one to one is typically used in summer because we don't want them to store it. We want it, them to eat it, feed it to their brood and to stimulate the young bees to generate the wax because the, the worker bees that generate the wax flakes on their abdomen are the very, very youngest bees. And they have to be stimulated by thin syrup or natural nectar flowing in order to generate wax. So now that we're in the starting of the dearth, if I want them to continue to build wax, which I do because I'm adding additional foundation to get more drawn comb, I want them to continue to make wax. I also need to keep them alive during the dearth uh, and not shrink down too much. Um, in the winter time, when you're preparing your colonies for winter, now granted, I'm in zone, need, zone 9B in Jacksonville, and we really don't have much of a winter. We have a couple of cold snaps, but it's about putting weight on a hive. And when you feed two to one, which is double weight of sugar to syrup, it's very thick syrup, they essentially store it directly as if it were honey, um, which puts weight onto a hive 
so that they can get through the winter. That's the basic reason we have two different ratios. Springtime, it's about brood rearing, wax stimulation. Uh, in the wintertime, it's about having food stores to get through the winter period. Um, and of course, here in the south, we can feed two to one syrup all winter long because it doesn't get cold enough to freeze. Up north, you have to use different techniques such as candy board, fondant, other solid, even granulated sugar directly on the hive because you have the uh, hard freezing temperatures that would actually even freeze the sugar water. Okay, that's the reason. Okay, so now my one to one is done here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off and it's in solution. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up uh, my control. And let me go get a quick funnel here. And this is gonna be nothing more, and I'm not weighing this, I'm just essentially filling up my one-to-one, -one, getting it going. And of course this is hot, so it's gonna to need to cool down. And I'm gonna to try to use the exact same amount on each one, filling it up to the ring. There we go. And now that is done. And we'll go there, and I've got the same number of holes in each lid too. So brand new lids almost, and they've got two holes in it. So theoretically this should be coming out um, at the same rate for the bees to eat it. Okay, so for now, for my one to two, which is means I need 300. I've got down here, I need 300 uh, grams uh, of the solution here. And let me go ahead and, and now I've got my tear weight there zeroed out. I'm gonna go 300. Because basically in this solution, exactly half of this 300 Half of this solution, I know how much sugar's in it because it's basically equal. I'm having to slow down a little bit. All right, I went a little too high, so I'm gonna have to get a little bit out. Two ninety-eight. All right, there's three hundred. Okay, so now with that, I need to add one hundred and fifty milliliters. of water. And here's my uh, graduated cylinder here and this is just pure water. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix 150 milliliters of this. And this is just the dilution ratio and I don't need to show you all this. And th theoretically, this should fill up my jar. Okay, so now there is my one to two. All right, I'm gonna do the others real quick, probably speed it up so you don't need to watch me do all the dilutions here by hand. Stick with me. Okay, I have got them all made up and they are all approximately full to the same spot. This uh, one to two is just a smidge lower, so I'm just gonna remember that. But more of the how fast they drain it is gonna be the veracity of the bees going to this. So let me go ahead and move my camera and show you where I'm gonna put these and then uh, we'll see what the results are. Okay, so just to show you what I've got here, I've just got a little board with four holes cut in it, uh, put just kind of here on a fence post with a little bit of support. So essentially they're all hanging at the same height and they're just a little bit a distance apart. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and invert these jars up into this. Let me just kind of show you. So here's my one, I'm gonna put my extremes. Um, I'm gonna put the one to six there. I'm gonna put the one to one here. I'm not gonna put a ratio. I'm gonna put the one to two over here and see how they're draining out a little bit to get the suction going and the one to four over here. All right, <clears throat> I just didn't want to create a line. I wanted to create some variability so there maybe we're actually seeing a choice here. You know, if one to two and one to four are further separated apart than the one to six and the one to one, that way there's a little bit of ratio. Okay, so this is how this is gonna go and I am just gonna uh, come back and give you some film uh, what I see here in a few hours and or the next few days. All right, YouTube, I had to move the feeders mostly because I didn't want to start robbing in the backyard. Uh, and the bees have been trained as to where this food is. Uh, I just made some more food because as you can see, I'm running a little bit low and I'm not quite sure I have results yet. But here's basically the way it is. And I think for sure the one to six is not getting much attention. There is a bee on it, but not much attention. The one to one, and the one to two seem to be getting the most attention. 
The one to four is definitely getting uh, some, but if I were to just try to assess which is getting the most, it feels like it's the one to two, honestly. So what I'm gonna end up doing, and this is just going to be a little bit of an experiment, because I've trained them. I'm gonna go ahead and move the one to six and the one to one. All right, so now I'm gonna see if, obviously bees know about location. So more than likely they're gonna drink that one to six for a while, but we're gonna see if they move over to that one to one. I've made up some more um, so we can basically uh, evaluate this over the next couple of days, but if the one to six proves to really not be the number, I might make a one and a half to one and maybe a one, I don't know, maybe a one and a half. Anyway, I think this is good data. Uh, it also shows that somewhere between four and one are all good. Uh, all right, let's keep taking data. All right, here's the end of the second day. And I've definitely been refilling the, the uh, sugar water a little bit. Without a doubt, and I, and I, I refill all the jars uh, to the top when I fill them. So here you can see the one to two and the one to four have emptied the most. The one to one is the next and then one to six is pretty close to that. But if you look at the activity, there's definitely a lot more activity on the two and the four uh, and, and the one, but the one's not going down as quickly. Um, so it's definitely an interesting uh, experiment to run here. The one to six definitely is not being preferred as much. If I were to say which one are they liking the most, it's the one to four, um, just by the, the ratio of the water going down the most. Now, this syrup is thinner on the one to two and the one to four than the one to one. So is it a question that the bees can't take as much one-to-one -one on each flight as they might on the one-to-four? These are some questions I can't just answer by watching, but uh, I've um, enjoyed watching this. I'm gonna probably just see how this goes tomorrow and maybe uh, we'll, we'll, we'll finish up with that. Hopefully you're enjoying this. All right, YouTube, I think I'm done collecting data on this one and the results are a little bit different than I expected. So what we have here is finishing up on the four different feeder jars with different ratios of sugar water. This side has one to one, this is one to six, one to four, and one to two. Uh, and these are the jars of remaining food I have. Um, and I would say that the results of one to two and one to four are about the same. Uh, and what we know is one to four is close enough to nectar, it's kind of the, the ratio there. One to two is definitely much thinner than the traditional one to one that we feed. The one to one is being eaten for sure. You can see the activity here. Probably the best result we have is that the one to six is definitely not preferred um, over the one to four for sure. They're still drinking the one to one, the one to four and the one to two, but the one to four and the one to two definitely were, were consumed faster than the one to one. So if I were to redo this experiment, and I might, um, I might tighten it in a little bit, maybe go as high as one to five and then maybe go, I don't know, like a one to three uh, in there also or something like that. But um, I think what this is simply telling us is we can probably thin out our syrup a little bit more than one to one to make our sugar go a little bit further. So perhaps one to two is a good starting point. Now, this isn't necessarily anything to do other than preference when they have a choice. Uh, this does not put weight on a hive. Uh, you know, in the wintertime, we still need to use two to one, which is thick syrup to put weight on, uh, on a hive. But right now in the summer, we're in a little bit of a dearth here in um, late June in Jacksonville. You know, they're choosing to go for the thinner syrups, a little bit thinner than one to one. They're taking the one to one, just not as fast as they're taking the one to two and the one to four. And they're definitely preferring that over one to six. So I think one to six is a little too thin. Anyway, those are the results. Uh, maybe a little bit of an opportunity to make some, uh, some more syrup and, and, and maybe narrow it in a little bit further to, to see if we can come up with um, the perfect recipe that they prefer. Uh, obviously the objectives of this, I'm not saying they make more wax. I'm not saying they make more brood. I'm not making any conclusions like that. I'm essentially just giving them a choice of what syrup to drink and uh, seeing which they take down the fastest. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this content. A little bit of an experiment on sugar syrup for our bees and uh, 
See you next time. Have a great day, everybody.